Years ago, I did a documentary on Alzheimer's disease, and the husband of one of the patients profiled asked me, why is it that bad things happen to good people? This man was a minister and was accustomed to offering perspective on the bigger picture, and I didn't have an answer for him then. Now, with the benefit of a few more years at the helm of this thing called life, I could say to him that those who are instilled with the brightest spirit are often handed the darkest challengers to light the way for the rest of us. Such are the whims of fate. What breaks out in one remote part of the world today may be in New York or Los Angeles tomorrow. As a father, I composed the Requiem for Oklahoma City as an offering of compassion to the families who suffered the loss of loved ones, and as a tribute to the men and women who put their own lives at risk to help with the rescue effort. As a journalist, I also hoped it would express on behalf of my colleagues at CNN and our viewers around the world the sorrow and empathy so many of us felt unable to put into words.
husband and my four-year-old. Lou, whoever did this, I hope you're happy. children, innocent, blameless, and pure, my spirit undaunted, through violence flaunted, will conquer and ever endure. Remember the trust of the children, darkness will not have its day. Take hold of my hands, and we'll both understand that the children will show you the way. is arrested or convicted, let's say convicted of this. What goes through my mind? I mean, I wonder if they have children of their own. And if they do, how could they do this? I don't, I don't, I don't wish for anybody to, to die, but I, I think that's what they deserve. It's hard, I mean, what do you do? Do you, do you leave the room like this? Do you, do you take all their pictures down? You give their clothes away. You don't know what to do. I mean, what do you do when, when people ask you? Do you have children? What do you say? Why do you have children? My children are dead. What do you say? You don't know what to say. Thank you.